Greetings everyone, Peter Martin here and this morning I heard someone speak a phrase that really jumped out at me and the phrase was understanding is on the other side of obedience I'll say it again understanding is on the other side of obedience and that really jumped out at me I've been thinking about it as I've been walking and then I came to this little spot here where you see there's a little bit of a bridge to cross over and I thought let me take a teaching moment video uh, just to share a little bit on how understanding is on the other side of obedience and so this bridge I have to cross over it to get to the other side and remember understanding is on the other side of obedience understanding usually comes only after we obey so often we want to understand everything before we obey God before we listen to him and and follow his instructions we understand want to understand why where how we want to understand the ins and outs we want to understand the outcome but that's not how faith works that's not how trust works that's not how following Jesus works understanding usually only comes on the other side of obedience when we step out and obey God when we follow him when we act on his instructions and directions then the understanding comes then there's the ah moment and I often say I believe um, when we know even as we are known and and when this mortal body has put on immortality this corruption has put on incorruption and we know even as we are known there's going to be a lot of ah moments we're going to be like oh that's why that happened oh that's why i needed to do that oh and even in this life as we obey god and as we step out there there are a lot of oh moments because the understanding comes on the other side of obedience and like i said many people many of us we want to try to understand before we obey but proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 to 6 says trust in the lord with all your heart do not lean unto your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your steps he shall direct your paths and so trust is not leaning onto your own understanding trust in the lord with all your heart do not lean unto your own understanding psalm 37 verse 23 says the steps of a good man are ordered by the lord and he delights in his way the new living translation says uh, the lord directs the steps of the godly and he delights in every detail of their lives god wants to direct us instruct us guide us in every detail of our lives he delights and is interested in every detail in proverbs chapter 20 verse 24 it says that a man's steps are of the lord how shall then a man understand his own way how shall a man understand his own way i love again the nlt it says the lord directs the steps of the godly so why try to understand everything along the way why try to understand everything along the way why try to figure it all out in our own carnal mind in our small little brain we can't understand all the ways of god we can't understand why he asks us to do what he does it, um, it says in isaiah chapter 55 it says uh, god's ways are higher than our ways his thoughts are above our thoughts so so much higher as the heavens are above the earth that's how much higher as you like think about it the heavens above the earth that's how much higher god's thoughts are above our own carnal uh, unrenewed mind thoughts and that's how much higher his ways are above our ways and so we can't understand everything we can't figure it out in and of ourselves but listen to this now in 1 corinthians chapter 2 i believe it's verse 16 it says but you have the mind of christ 1 john chapter 2 verse 20 says you have an unction an anointing from the holy one and you know all things so the knowledge of god the mind of christ resides in your spirit man because Jesus resides in your spirit man and he's all-knowing he's omniscient in him in Christ you're omniscient because it's no longer you but Christ living in you Christ living through you because you're crucified with Christ nevertheless you live yet not you but Christ lives in you but in your unrenewed carnal mind you don't know everything you don't have all the understanding and it's only when we step out and obey and we follow the Lord in obedience that the understanding comes. So I want to encourage you to obey the Lord because he's trustworthy, he's faithful. Amen.